Amazon has already ruined everything for Lord of the Rings fans, but who can they upset next? How about Tomb Raider fans? Yes. Oh, this one hurts. As y'all know, I'm a big Tomb Raider fan. <laughs> so now Amazon has just announced that they are making a Tomb Raider TV series. And this is the info we know so far. I know some of you, why aren't you excited? Why aren't you excited? Well, dude, everything they touch has been awful. Not to mention Tomb Raider has already been run to the ground. It keeps getting worse and worse and worse. So, no, I'm not excited about this. I don't expect things to get better with this. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe they will surprise me. But do I expect it? No, not with the game, the next game coming out, which I've made a plethora of videos about that and the rumors associated with that sound absolutely atrocious. Not with how the games have already ended with this new reboot era. Changing absolutely everything that makes Tomb Raider and Lara Croft recognizable. It's something new. It's been something new. It's not been the same since, honestly, 1999 or 2000. All right? Uh, so, uh, let's just... Okay, Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Okay? I have not seen most of what she has done, you know? Uh, but she is in the new Indiana Jones movie. I made a video about that as well. I don't... Mm, don't think, uh, don't have the highest hopes for that. Uh, but yeah, flea bag. I don't know what the heck that is. But anyway, let's just dive into the article and I'll share more of my opinions here. You guys can obviously weigh in in the comments as well what you're expecting and what you think. So Phoebe Waller Bridge prepping Tomb Raider TV series for Amazon. So sources say the flea bag Emmy winner will pin the script for the project, which is the latest to stem from her recently reviewed. A renewed overall deal with the streamer. Um, it almost wouldn't surprise me if she wants to insert herself as Lara Croft in this too. Um, which I gotta say, I don't, uh, don't think she would fit the role. I mean, you can't, you can't beat Angelina Jolie's Lara Croft. I even liked Alicia Vikander as Lara more than what we've seen in the recent games because she just did so much of a better job with Lara's personality and stuff even though I don't think she has the right body type to pull it off um she still is a pretty woman and she did deliver a lot of attitude in Lara Croft's character which we have not seen in a freaking long time all right so anyway says the emmy winning fleabag grad is readying a tv series based on the popular video game turned action movie tomb raider the project which is in the development stages is the latest to stem from the waller bridges recently renewed overall deal with the retail giant and streamer sources tell the hollywood reporter that waller bridge is attached to write the scripts for Tomb Raider. Waller Bridge does not plan to star in the TV adaptation. Okay, good. Of the property. I mean, I just don't, I don't think she'd pull it off. Um, which spawned 2001 and 2018 film adaptation starring Angelina Jolie and Alicia, Alicia Vikander. We know this. Um, so now they're talking about voice actresses who have, and Haley Atwell, who is joining the Netflix anime series. So, yes, for those who are like, wait, what's going on? I thought Netflix. Netflix is doing an animated Tomb Raider series, which is going to be trash. They've already announced that it, they're bringing back characters like Zip and Jonah. And it's going to be a road trip friendship adventure, essentially. Which is not Tomb Raider. I mean, this is Tomb Raider. Okay? This. Uh, Lara Croft having a bunch of friends and going on friendship adventures is not Tomb Raider, okay? Even this changed some fundamentals of Tomb Raider that I don't like, but even so, I could forgive it simply because Angelina Jolie just captured Lara Croft so perfectly, and ultimately, while there were some changes I did not like, it, at the end of the day, and especially talking about the first movie, still portrayed a mostly accurate in look and personality Lara Croft, just knocked it out of the park um so in addition to writing waller bridge will executive produce the amazon take alongside former head of comedy and drama ryan andolina 
and former head of overall deals, Amanda Greenblatt. And Alina and Greenblatt launched their own production company and have a deal with Amazon. Dimitri Johnson will also executive produce via his DJ2 company. Amazon did not immediately respond to THR's request for comment. Um, Tomb Raider becomes the latest project of the works of Waller Bridge on Amazon, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so they're really not giving us much news here. Um, so they told us that they greenlit it, but they didn't tell us that it was Tomb Raider, and now we're finding out it was Tomb Raider, okay? So... Yeah, people want to know my overall opinions on this. I do not have high hopes for it. I think that Tomb Raider is just going to continue to be trash until somebody who actually has any inkling of knowledge of the history of Tomb Raider and what Lara Croft was created to be, this anti-hero, not a protector of artifacts. She was a grave robber, okay? A grave robber who was selfishly motivated, who her parents disowned her because of her reckless lifestyle and because she didn't marry the Earl of Farrington that was arranged for her. None of this, oh, following father's footsteps. None of this, oh my gosh, family drama stuff going on. They disowned her. She chose this crazy lifestyle. That's that. She was motivated by just her reckless adrenaline rush lifestyle that she wanted to live. That's it. No unnecessary romances thrown in there, which the comics did that. They started to do that with other future stuff, but in the games, no, that wasn't a thing. Lara was married to grave robbing and globe trotting and being a reckless adventurer. That was it. So unless they embrace that, I just don't see Tomb Raider being anything I like anymore. It already has transformed into something I don't like now. I even think that when it comes to the recent games, like, are they're not terrible, but they're not Tomb Raider. And that has been my stance on it. They've hijacked and completely transformed Beyond Recognition, uh, a very classic, iconic franchise. And just because the new thing they made is entertaining enough does not make it okay to transform something Beyond Recognition in every single way. So... You know, this might make a bunch of new people happy uh, or, you know, new fans or people who are just dabbling into it and don't have a history with Lara Croft and Tomb Raider and don't understand just exactly what, what, what it was. Then, yeah, I'm sure they're excited, but I am not holding my breath because, like I said, in order to really get this right uh, for, for classic fans and people who have been with the franchise since, you know, the, the beginning of uh its conception uh you really need to stick to the source material okay but that's not what it is we already seen all the rumors coming out about the new game that's coming out she's no longer she's she's now a mentor okay she's lonely she's a mentor she has students that she teaches and who have to help her on her next adventure and she has a female love interest and all this stuff, which who knows what all is going to be kept and what all is going to be scrapped in that. But Amazon is coming out with the next game. So that being said, because Amazon is producing the next game, that they're going to want this TV series to fall in line with the next game. Okay, so for anybody who has any hope that, oh, Tomb Raider is going back to, maybe it'll be classic, maybe it'll go back to its classic roots. Uh, that's not going to happen, not unless the scrapped stuff that they not unless Amazon is like oh, okay we're changing everything start over do something new it already seems like they're rushing it uh because Crystal Dynamics is needed for Perfect Dark and what's going on with that and um so seemingly that last leak that we got does seem to be true and we're seeing Lara go from this loner rebel um over the top like beyond amazing like beyond reality right she was this this very uh extra amazing special character who just got the relatable treatment right for modern audiences and uh yeah so since amazon is publishing the next game and funding the next game and now with this tv series it's safe to say that they're going to want them to be the same so we're going to see more likely more than likely we're going to see lara turn be just a mentor and um 
a, a protector of artifacts instead of the grave robbing rambunctious over the top larger than life character that she was previously BFF adventure you guys this is what Tomb Raider has turned into BFF adventures hate to see it <laughs> oh, I would rather Tomb Raider just be buried and never resuscitated again than to keep seeing it run to the ground like this but this is where I'm at, so this is my opinion. I'm curious to know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time. And in the meantime, go boom.